Hey everyone, welcome back to Carrots and Olives. My name is Brittany and today we are going to open this package together. I've had it sitting in my office for about a week almost and so I'm really excited to get into it. So Nico Neko always has really beautiful packaging. Uh, it took me about three weeks to curate this package for myself, meaning that I was going on back and forth online, putting things in my cart, and then I would leave the website, come back, and keep looking and add some more things, take some things away. So I was just making sure that the things that I I was adding would be useful to me and so we get their cute little stickers the first time I've seen the sticker and I love their um, packaging here the paper that has their de designs and then their name So I did get more than just stickers and washi. So let's get into it. You see the first thing I have is some ink. This is the Lady Emerald um, guitar ink. This will be my first time with a guitar ink. So I'm excited to see how that swatches. And I did get this washi. I really like this one from Peon. It has, it's called Background and it has like stickers within the tape so you peel it off and um, you could stick it in there as background elements. I also got this one which is it's it I think it's the same thing it's um, a sticker based large sheet so a rectangle and you can write notes on the paper it should be friendly for ink. I'm not quite sure if it's friendly for fountain pen ink or gel or um, ballpoint, so I'll have to test that out. I am a little bit surprised at the size because it's not very thick. So, and considering that these sheets are quite l large, probably an inch and a half or so, or maybe an inch, um, I feel like you're not getting a real bang for your buck here but at the same time this washi tape um, wasn't very expensive at least not as expensive as a peon tape I also got a fountain pen so we will open this up in a minute I got a print on sticker book I wanted this um, for my MU style stickers because they are taking up a lot of space in my King Jim um, uh, sticker book. So I think I'd rather keep the King Jim for the taller stickers and then the Emmy stickers can go in here. So I picked up one of these. These were just a couple dollars. So definitely I think it's worth it if you have a lot of Emmy stickers. Other goodies, I did pick up some stamps. So this one says blessed and it's by Nyrette Design. I really like it when a maker can put their logo and information on the stamp as it makes it easier to refer back to um, if anyone ever has questions. And then I got another one, More Love, Less Hate. And these stamps are really well made um, by Nyrette Design. I also picked up some or original paper items. This is a memo pad and there's a bunch of different um, papers in here. So you get some brown papers and then you get some graph. So excited to use this for collaging. Okay, so a couple more. So 
So I did get a few more stamps. Oh, and these are the ones that have the um, different words. So this one says record. And I wanted these for my journals. This one says moments. I think it's nice to have a combination of characters and words um, for stamps so that at least for me I can use them um, not just in my documenting but also like my journaling so got those and then I got this which is the days of the week and it has that same font and these are actually smaller than I thought, which actually is, I think, is a good thing because I can even use them um, not just for planning, but also in my journals. So let me show you in perspective of um, my guitar ink here. This is the box. These are quite small in comparison. If I bring in some of the um, washi you can see how small it is. Okay, so these are the ink samples. I really wanted to get more guitar ink, but rather than getting bottles, I decided to get samples to make sure that I will um, enjoy it and um, to make sure it's the color for me. So there were a couple of blues, Lady Emerald um, and Gentle Green, um, and then Antique Black. I really want to try that one. So I will test these out in a minute. And last but not least is the final package, which is very well decorated. I really like this paper with the image. I also got a little note at the bottom. Dear Brittany, thank you for your order and happy summer. Okay, so these are the stickers. I purchased so this one has like a collage of elements and then the stickers are within like they're almost like little cutouts that you'll pull off so this one actually is called five elements journal prompt sticker and there's quite a few sheets in here Oh, it's really smooth and I guess it's going to be kind of clear so this color and this one it's really bright this green a blue and brown and green and then this black and brown color. So definitely a really nice selection of color. And these are great for scrapbooking or journaling. And I'm pretty sure I'd be able to find the best color for each um, spread that I make with these. Okay, so I thought these were the coolest thing. I've always, sorry for the glare. I always wanted to get these with these little characters um, that are watercolored. They're called print on stickers by R Studio Booth um, Rs. And you see all these little characters. They're so cute. I got some Sotalie stickers and I hadn't seen this one, Deco Drawing. But I really think that these are 
really pretty stickers, so definitely a fan. I also tried to get some of these, and I was thinking about putting them on my keyboard. They're a design pattern with different key colors. Not quite sure if I should put them on my Mac or if I should put on one of my um, keyboards that I bought for a different computer. I bought some Mori stickers. These are really cute because I live so close to a lot of trees now. I feel like this would be perfect for fall for me or even any time of year, honestly. And then Hanwaka seal. I thought this little lady was really cute. And then all her clothes and outfits. I think I can make this work in my journal. Okay, and that is pretty much all there was. Now to get into this package. There's a wax seal in here with some glitter. So on the box, um, it says Fumisome, and it's very simple packaging. Reminds me of a Bennu pen packaging. Interesting. So it opens up like this, and it has a lot of, I guess, is this Japanese? Um, I will need to try to translate that with my phone at a later time. Here we are with the pen, and this is a tag stationary leather fountain pen, and this is in the color black. Now, it may look black on screen, but honestly, it's not. It looks more gray, which makes me happy because I really wanted the gray one, and um, and I was thinking of this color. So I'm guessing the gray one, which is not in stock at the moment, um, I think they haven't received it. But um, when that one does get in stock, I think that one would show a little bit lighter. This black, black, it looks more blue, periwinkle gray, like purple gray, not really black. So it has a number five nib on it. This is in the fine. And I don't think that uh, Nico Neko sells anything other than a fine. So it doesn't post. What's wrapped around the pen is leather. And it's interesting. It feels good. It's almost a little bit like padded foam. And the part at the bottom here kind of overlaps a little bit. And then same with the top, but it has a really cool design. And it's metal, so it has some weight to it. The grip is actually pretty large enough for my fingers and even here with the threads, it's not, it's not uncomfortable. And the design is really pretty. This is the logo portion that you see on the finial. It has a breather hole. It has the name or the size of the nib at the top. It's a number five nib, so it's, it looks a little small and, um, 
I'm usually weary of number five nibs just because then my my fingers are closer to the paper um, and I have to grip a little bit harder because the nib is so small. But I really wanted to try this pen. It twists and it's actually quite nice. It's supposed to patina. They even have an undyed, although Nico Neko did not carry that ink or that pen in stock. I would really like to try the, you know, get the undyed pen to see how it patinas over time. Although I would be a little bit nervous because of, you know, ink possibly getting on the leather. I would say that the back side of the leather here where it's it's supposed to line up looks a little um i feel like it could look a little better or if they had maybe some type of different piece to go down here so that it doesn't look so i can't think of the word it looks a little sloppy is i guess what i'm trying to say it could look better but I'm not looking at that part. So there's that. So I'm going to ink it up most likely with my new guitar ink and we'll see how it writes. Hey everyone, it's been a couple days. And so I thought rather than going too much into showing you how I inked up the pen and everything, I'll just give my thoughts. So. I've been using this pen all throughout this week and I really am enjoying it. The leather is just one of those things, you know, if you do like leather materials like I do, I like the way leather feels. And so I think that's what's been making me really enjoy this pen is the fact that knowing that it's made of leather, but also having that texture and that feel is just something that makes me want to pick up this pen every single moment. Um, so I've been using it all week. I have been worried a little bit when I um, mentioned that this part of the pen looked really sloppy. I was worried that maybe it could fall apart, but so far it's been doing really well. Like uh, there's nothing coming apart. I'm not trying to pull it apart or anything. Um, I figured that if it were to ever come apart, it would could be easier for me to just glue it back somehow um, because I don't think I would want to write with the pen if it didn't have this cover on it. It seems like it would be really hard made of this metal, but I really, I really like it. So it has a little bit of weight to it, but it's still quite a smaller pen. Here is the um, M800. You can see it's a little bit shorter. Um, the girth is actually quite this, quite similar in the body here, but when it comes to the nib and the grip section, it's a little bit smaller. Ooh, and I'm starting to see a little bit of patina right here, and. Am I getting, like, do I feel like brass on my fingers? No, I don't. Um, or the smell of brass, like the uh, Caveco pen, I do not. But I do wish that they would have a size six nib because then it would be, I think it would be a little bit more comfortable um, than what it is now. Although I do find this pen quite comfortable. And I, um, for some reason, I like that sound of when I close the pen. Um, but yeah, it's, it is definitely a pen I'm enjoying. I did ink it up with the Terra Nishi Guitar ink, the Lady Emerald color. And crazy me, I ended up getting the Lady Emerald full bottle and a sample bottle. I don't know what I was thinking. I had meant to get a sample bottle of their blue colors. Anyway, so yeah, I have an extra sample bottle, which since I do really enjoy this Lady Emerald color, it has this red sheen to it, which is really nice. It's 
something I, I feel like I will be using anyway. It's like a red sheen, but it it's subtle. It's um, You can see the red, but it's not like glaring where it's going to blind you, uh, which is really interesting. Um, so you could see the shading in this pen <clears throat> ink, and I really like the other samples. So I got the Gentle Green, which has some really nice shading. And it's funny because this color writes blue and it dries into the screen and it's really cool. Um, and then the antique black, it's nice, but I thought that there would be a little bit more shading with this ink. It's just really dark brown. Sometimes you can see some black in there, but mainly dark brown. So not enough shading for me to really warrant a full bottle of this, at least not at the moment for me right now. Um, but yeah, so these are the colors I had. Really like these two. I really want to get a bottle of this. I did not know that Amazon actually sells this ink. Um, you can find it on Amazon and some of the colors will ship to you within two days. There are other colors that will take longer. Now I didn't find any of their blue colors on Amazon. Um, uh, but they did have like one of their greens. I don't think that they had any of these colors. So yeah, but anyway, just just an FYI. And then I also stamped uh, two of my multiple stamps I have just to see how it looked. Um, I really like the clean, clean, like the clean stamp of the, the word stamps that I got. So um, just to show you how I was using it, this week, I also am using it on the cream paper in my Traveler's Company. So I've been using this one here, and I've also been using it in my planner for this week. So you could see, especially on to White River paper, um, the shading here. So um, it's really nice. It can be really dark, and then it can be really light here. And I think. The reason why this is light is because I am running out of ink in here. So I know I'm going to be inking this up fairly soon. It also writes pretty wet. So let me show you. The nib is quite smooth and um, it's just, I don't know, there's something about it. I, I really like it. It's def definitely different than any of my other fountain pens in the sense of um, having the leather on it, which is just a really nice touch. I'm curious to see how this pen will patina over time. and. Um, would like to know your thoughts. Do you have this pen? I've only seen it on uh, one person's Instagram. So I'm curious to see if there's anyone else out there that has the pen. They also have this pen in the undyed color, which is very intriguing and I kind of want to get it, but not quite sure who sells it in the US and if there's anyone that sells it in the US. Um, but yes, I really, really like this one. So that is the end of the video. I want to thank you for watching. If you have any questions about any of the products I shared with you, let me know in the comments below. And I will catch you all in the next video. Bye.